Hi, I'm Scott Fabrizio, developer of Fabrizio Fragrance for Men, and welcome to the first edition of Road Rant with the Rabbit Underdog. <laughs> The topic of today's road rant is gossip. Everybody here knows uh, someone who gossips in their life, and everybody makes sure that they uh, don't uh, give any pertinent information to those gossipers because it'll wind up all over town. It's almost like an addiction to these people, you know what I'm saying? Uh, they can't help themselves. Once they get a little bit of information, they gotta tell everybody. They gotta get on the phone, they gotta blah, blah, blah. They tell other gossipers, you know, they commune together. It's almost like, you know, it's like uh, an opium den, you know? But it's just gossip. So it's like a gossip then. As I said before, if there's some information you don't want the whole world to know, most likely you will avoid telling it to this gossiper. However, there's probably a person in your life who's the gossip enabler. The enabler helps the addict stay addicted. Now this enabler is not per se a gossiper themselves, however there are some exceptions. But what they do is they leak the pertinent inf information to the correct gossiper's ear and before you know it, your dirty laundry is all over the city. Talking about enabling reminds me of the $500 bet I made with my cousin Rico that he wouldn't make it to his one year anniversary with Gamblers Anonymous. That one little wager undermined any progress he was making towards recovery. However, he learned a valuable lesson about enabling. And I personally was able to make my car payment that month to avoid it being repossessed. So if you look at it that way, it was kind of a win-win. Let me get back to gossiping. So here's the story, right? Here's the situation. A couple of years back, I was dating this girl from the MSPCA. And she's like, oh, you should come down, you should buy one of the shelter animals, blah, 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 donate, so on and so forth. So, you know, after uh, my year for so long, I decided to go down. I was looking for a pit bull, but then I found out that Michael Vick had just come in and swept them all out of the place before I got there. I would never consider myself to be a cat person. I was never thinking about getting a cat or anything like that. But mind you, my options were limited at this point. So I'm walking around the cat cage and I see this little guy. He's this little kitten. But he's tough. You know, he took a swipe at a cat who was going after a cat toy. And the cat was like twice his size. It cowered away from him and everything like that. This little kitten was pretty tough, you know. This little kitten was kind of the feline embodiment of the rabbit underdog. The rabbit under feline, if you will. You know, it's just not something we do in the Fabrizio family. We don't get cats. You don't get something that shits in the house. You know what I'm saying? Like, the only thing that shits in the house is me. And, you know, depending on a certain night, it, that might not even happen. I may not get so lucky. So I adopted a cat, got him spayed and everything like that. I did the right thing. Spay and new animals. Just so you know, but so don't want to piss off Betty White. I want to name him Giuseppe, but the shelter had only already named him Geppetto. So I didn't want to confuse him or anything like that. I don't need a cat with psycho problems. You know what I'm saying? Now, of course. I had to do all this in secret because if my friends or my family ever found out that I had a cat and a kitten and everything like that It wouldn't go over well. It would ruin my reputation for a long time I would buy all the cat supplies online because they would be shipped in a very discreet packaging One time that I happened to forget the order and everything like that and I needed cat litter desperately so in an effort to keep my anonymity, I went to uh, PetSmart two towns away from my town in order to not run into anyone that I know so there I am walking out of the pet smart with a cat litter in my hand, and who do I run into but Carly Prezi, who just happened to be two towns over herself because the girl who does the nails had opened up her own shop, and she was trying to stay loyal to her, and she really liked the way she got her nails done, and blah, 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 blah. This Carly Prezi is in no way a gossiper. However, she's best friends with this girl Maria, who knows my entire family and like has like a thousand contacts in her phone and all sorts of Facebook contacts. So of course, next thing I know, it's all over Boston that Fabrizio's got a cat, Fabrizio's got a cat, Fabrizio's got a cat. It really kind of makes my blood boil because Carly could have kept it to herself. She could have been loyal to me. You know what I mean? This girl shows absolutely no loyalty whatsoever. Except, of course, the loyalty she shows to Betty Song, a Vietnamese girl who does her nails and everything like that, who opened up shop two towns across and she faces traffic on Route 1 to get over there. That's when she shows loyalty. Maybe if I had tried to keep the uh, fragrance company a secret, all of a sudden they'd like blow it up all over the place right now and I'd be a millionaire, you know what I'm saying? But no, no, but you know, you buy one box of cat litter, two towns over, and before you know it, everybody's like, oh, Fabrizio's a cat lover, blah, 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 blah. Everybody's got to break my balls and everything like that. Just goes to show you where some people's priorities lie.
All the boys at the Y are all like, hey, Fabrizio, I tried out your cologne. It smells like cat poop. You know, it's like, I don't need that kind of aggravation in my life. I got enough. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so thanks, Carly. Thanks, Maria. Thanks for broadcasting my dirty laundry all across Boston. I really appreciate it. I really, really do. I mean, the thing is, I can hear it, too. I can hear the people telling my dad and everything like that, like these old greaseballs, like, Hey, hey, Sal, I hear you son at the Pesmati by the sand for the cup poop. What's wrong with him? It's like it's a nightmare. You know what I'm saying? Finally, in closing, I think all I'm really trying to say is, like, you've got to watch out for the gossipers in your life. If you want, like, you know, you want your information to stay secure, you know, you don't want your passwords getting out and everything like that, you don't want to tell a gossiper. But also, watch out for the gossip enablers. Those are the real enemies that you got to watch out for because you trust them. They don't tell everybody. They just tell that one person, but it's the wrong person to tell. Anyway, I appreciate you guys tuning into the Rabbit Underdog. Uh, there'll be updates every week and everything like that. I do the Q&A on Wednesday, and I don't know if I can do this, if I can find something to rant about, because I'm usually a pretty mellow guy. Uh, I'll do this every Friday or so. I don't know. Uh, you can click subscribe. Uh, feel free to like and share with your friends and family. Remember, sharing is caring. And uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, what's wrong with you? Go ahead, subscribe, and no one gets hurt. You know what I'm saying? And hey, don't be a punk.